I don't see it as a second world, I see it as a part of ours. Scarecrows dressed in the, in the latest styles. Ribbons is the biggest thing I've made yet, and uh, also seems to encapsulate a lot of the ideas that are throughout the show, you know. I mean, it's only when you come here and you see the film that you start to see what he is, and, and when he's singing and when he's drinking and pissing and whatever, you know. To describe my own work, I would say that I mainly make videos. Um, and they're mainly videos that are made using computer-generated kind of technologies. And that they speak very particularly to the structure and the, uh, the way that images are made contemporaneously, I suppose. They're videos that, generally speaking, are about quite fundamental uh, aspects of a kind of human experience of love or death or sex or whatever, or relations just generally, per se. Recent Ouija, uh, the title of the exhibition, is based on the Ouija board, which is uh, some sort of toy thing for communicating with spirits and, or demons uh, and channeling them. Um, and for me that was interesting because it speaks about possession, about language, um, and about esoteric ideas, or, or feelings really, um, unidentifiable things. I used to film stuff, but I'd often find myself filming, th filming things just to get an image, almost to reappropriate it after I'd made it. So not really to author an image, but to just find it deliberately, as it were. Um, and then when I started making computer-generated stuff, that kind of answered the problem of the source of an image. I always had a problem with pointing a camera at someone, whereas generating an image from nothing in the computer, essentially, there's no victim. So the, the figures in the, in the videos, necessarily they're, they're kind of surrogates, they're stand-ins for, for real people. And because they're not real, I feel able to do more to them, treat them worse in a way, and ask them to do things that I wouldn't a normal person. Also, it's always me that's performing them. So it's me in front of a motion capture camera, and it maps my performance and my voice, and I can fit it to the... CG model. I don't feel at all at home in the created world. Uh, it's a very inhospitable place. But it's, uh, so it's not fun. Uh, but I do, I mean, I, I get a lot of pleasure out of making them. I infinitely prefer being out in the real world, like being outside, speaking with friends. You know, like I'm not, it's not, I'm not really a creature that lives in a cupboard or something. The videos tend to be very demanding empathetically. Like, they really solicit and beg for recognition. Um, that's not something I'm doing, that's something... Oh, it is, it's totally something I'm doing. It's totally manipulative and horrible, but... While they're in here, I kind of want people to be totally immersed, but... But not, not like the immersion of a kind of cinema where you forget yourself, but in that way that you're kind of constantly reminded of yourself. <laughs> 